What's good, spiritual family? I hope everybody having an amazing morning. You know what I'm saying? I hope everybody feeling good, keeping your vibration high, because you deserve it, and you know that. This is going to be one of them videos where I'm just venting. I feel like it's not only helpful for you all, it's helpful for myself. It's helpful, like it's healthy for my mindset. It's healthy for my mental. So with that being said, I'm just going to start off by saying, it's okay to feel lost. It's okay to feel lost. Lately, I've been feeling pretty lost, bro. Like, I don't know which, I don't know what I want out of life. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I need something more, but I can't put my finger on what I want. I actually posted in it, like, I posted it in the community and just shared my thoughts to see if you all felt the same. If you feel the same, comment below. You know what I'm saying? Somebody can probably definitely relate to, relate to a situation you're feeling more than myself. Or I can. I can relate to you. So comment below how you feeling. But I've been feeling like I want something more. Rather it be going over the road and start trucking again. Rather it be blowing up in music and like raising vibrations. It's gotten to the point where I want I want a lot like a lot more, but I don't really care about nothing, bro. In the most positive way to put it. It's like it comes to a time where I just want to go out in the mud like into mother nature and just go ghost sometimes, man. I just be wanting to go ghost, man. Like, who's to say, like, this is just a big dream? This ain't even the real world. What if this not, like, what if this is all just fake, an illusion? It's not even the real world. And when you die, you wake up from it. So this right here is nothing but a blink of an eye in the real world. It's nothing but a little nap. But we feeling like it's a lifetime. We feeling like it's a long journey. But in reality, in the real world, it's nothing but a little nap that you woke up from. It's a dream. It meant nothing. We come here and we get attached to everything. We get attached to your girlfriend, your mama, your dad, loved ones, other people's opinions, other people's thoughts, what other people feel is important, like is important, what you personally feel is important, when all of it mean nothing. Having a big platform mean nothing. Having a small platform mean nothing. Having a fat, like, you know what I'm saying, being the next Meg Thee Stallion means nothing. Having a fat bottom means nothing. Having the most women, all that means nothing, bro. If it's nothing but a dream. And we don't really know what's to come when we leave here. As of lately, I've been really getting in tune with myself, man. Trying to get really in tune with myself and get back to where I used to be. Because I be feeling like I'm getting close to where I used to be when I was on the truck. But I'm really not as close as I thought I was. On the truck, I wasn't around my son. I wasn't around my mother. I wasn't around nobody. It was out of sight, out of mind. So instead of focusing on anybody else... I truly got to focus on myself and realize that I need nothing. When I came back home, however, I feel like I need everything again. I don't want to work this job, bro. It's unstable. Not only because of that, it just don't make it don't it don't make my heart happy, bro. I was talking to my woman the other day and I was like, I want to feel like a dog. She was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what what what's this nigga? And shout out to my woman, because you be listening to me when I talk, man. If you're watching this video, I know I don't say a lot of things to you that I should say in person. But I want to let you know that I appreciate you. You listen to me when I talk, and I know I'm one of them ones that my mind be out of here. My mind be out of this world. I'm totally different than most guys you ever talk to. But I appreciate you. But I was telling her that I want to feel like a dog. A dog just got nothing but love. It lives in a moment. It experiences everything brand new. When it sees water, it want to go jump into the water. When it sees a fish, it goes crazy because it's experiencing it brand new. When it's when it's with it, like like just rolling around with its owner, it don't think about nothing but the moment. Putting its head outside, feeling the breeze on its face, knowing that it's with its owner. You can scream at a dog like, "Hey, get in the corner, get in the corner." But right, right when you turn your like right when you turn that emotion like a full 360 and be like, hey, hey, like Max, I love you. The dog won't forget about all that aggression you had towards it and just love you unconditionally, genuinely. 
That's what I want to feel like. A dog is not attached to anything. It experienced everything firsthand in the moment. Us as human beings, we forgot to do that. We've been living and getting attached to everything since we was a newborn. That we don't even know how to fully experience anything like it's brand new. You know what I mean? We get attached to YouTube. We get attached to seeing the likes, the views, the comments. To the point where people is not even putting out genuine videos anymore. And I'm not sending no shots out to nobody. But everybody just won't clout off of this, bro. It's to the point where I wouldn't be doing YouTube if I didn't love y'all. And if I didn't love myself and if I wasn't help, helping my mind stay, like, helping my mental out. I wouldn't be doing YouTube. I wouldn't be making music. I want to make people happy, man. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. But I know all this means nothing, man. It means nothing. So why treat it like everything? I said on the live the other day, man, we came here with nothing. We're going to leave with nothing. So why we treat? Like, why in the middle of all that? We act as if we need everything while we're here. When we came with nothing, then we're going to leave with nothing. You know? I just want to get really deep spiritually again, bro. Yeah, I be meditating. I be doing all the above. But I don't feel like the same me that, like, you know what I'm saying, that was on the truck. I don't. I don't. I'm a part of people's lives again. I'm a part of society again. You know, on the truck, I slept where I worked at. My bed was with me from New York to Colorado. Here, though, I'm at work, and then I go home. It's two different different environments. It's hard to balance, bro. I be just making these YouTube videos to see if somebody really going to relate to me at that type of level that can help me out. You know what I mean? Help me along my spiritual journey. Make these videos so when my son gets older, he can he can watch this. Or my future kids, like, if I have more kids or whatever the case may be, they can watch this. You know what I mean? They can watch this, man. They know that it's a deeper meaning in life than all the materialistic things, all the popularity. It's a big popularity contest out here, man. Everybody just want to be seen. Everybody want to be noticed. Nobody wants to really be happy. Because if they did want to really be happy, they wouldn't care about none of this. I was talking to my woman. I said, babe, the only thing I want to really do right now is go out in the mud of nature, go fishing, and smoke a blunt. I'm going to be real with y'all. That's all I want to do. I can't even go smoke a blunt because my job, bro. Not because it's going to lower my vibration or anything like that. I can't smoke because I'm going to, you know what I'm saying, damage my livelihood. I'm going to sabotage everything I've been working for with this CDL. I'm putting it on a pedestal when all this shit mean nothing I can't even fully experience my life the way I want to because I'm tied on to everything else that's going on like it's really gonna hurt me in some way shape or form I be just watching these YouTubers bro you know what I'm saying bro people is not really built the way they be preaching and I can see it through the screen. They not built the way they be preaching, bro. You know what I'm saying? They speak about meditation. They speak about everything, bro. They speak about everything but working on your subconscious mind. How you going to deal with your past? How you going to deal with your pain if you don't work with your subconscious mind? How you going to grow? How you going to grow if you don't reprogram your subconscious mind? Yeah, you can meditate, but when them bills come out, are you truly not going to be stressed? When your mama die, are you truly not going to be hurt? And then people will be like, well, it's okay to feel pain. It's okay to feel stressed. It's not okay for the reaction that you've given it, though. That reaction that you've given it was passed down throughout generations from your mama to your grandparents. They did not teach you how to properly deal with things. How to properly give off a positive reaction. The same thing with myself. Nobody taught me that. You got to reprogram your subconscious mind so you can think that way, so you can give off that positive reaction. Nobody's speaking about that. I don't care about the Anunnaki. I don't care about what's going on in the world because I'm not, I'm not even 
working on myself? How can I focus on myself, focusing on everything else? I just don't really care, bro, no more. I don't care in the most positive way. I'm going to continue to give y'all music. I'm going to continue to drop videos for y'all. But on some real stuff, man, I'm lost right now, bro. In the most positive way, I'm happy. But I need a deeper understanding as to what's like. like I feel like certain people are put here just to experience life and just go throughout life. And that's cool. Work their nine to five and die. But some of us are put here to really find your significant purpose as to why you're here. And that's me. I need a reason as to why I'm here, man. I need a reason as to why I'm here, as to why I'm living. What I'm here to do. Who I'm here to help. Am I here to help others or I'm here to help myself? I need to know. It's not about making, it's not about a popularity contest. It's not about likes, views, the most subscribers, the most Instagram followers. It's about finding your significant purpose to, that's for you. Like I said, some people are here just to experience their life and not grow it, grow in that direction. They're growing in their own direction, but I feel like I'm going in that direction. I need to go out far away into the mountains and really try to speak to the spirits, like the spirits that live here with us, bro. I was watching this show called My Near Death Experience on Netflix, and the man, like, he was going to sleep and somebody called his name. And that happened to me like last week, bro, and I couldn't explain it. But that video just came on out of nowhere, and I felt like it was not a coincidence. Somebody called my name from, from another realm. They said, Tony. I woke up. I felt like it was my woman, but she was sound asleep. I looked around, and I just made the excuse that I did that myself. But then I saw somebody else go through it, and I'm like, dang, what if it is another realm out here? What is somebody really trying to tell me something? Trying to help me along my path. That's deeper than materialistic items. That's deeper than pleasing everybody in the world. That's deeper than that. That's something like for me, personally. For my spirit, personally. I don't want to be attached to things, bro. I want to love my woman because I love my woman, not because of what she do for me. And most of us do that. We love people because of what they do for me, like do for us, or how they, how they react towards the things we do. We don't love them just because we love them. I'm not going to lie to myself, bro. I'm not going to lie to her. I'm not going to lie to nobody. Keep it all the way real until I die, until, I, until this body vessel decays on this earth. I'm just trying to love, bro. I want to be love. I want to become love. I'm going to become love. I'm going to do that. I told myself I'm going to meditate so much. I'm about to meditate so much. I'm about to eat so pure. Eat nothing but pure things. And I'm about to detach from a lot of people that's in my life. That's not on the same path I am. Not because they're not a good vibration. Just because it's easily, it's easy to get distracted by the people that you love. It's easy to get distracted by the people that you feel attached to. That don't understand you. I want to explore, man. I want to explore so bad. I don't want to stay here and work this job, bro. I don't want to stay here and work this job. I want to explore. I want to speak to gurus. I want to write a book. I want to make music all day. Just raising vibrations, perfecting my craft. I want to love my child. I want to love my woman. I want to love y'all. I want to love myself. But everything's just hard right now because I'm lost and I'm confused as to what I want when I don't even know what I want in the first place. I don't know why I'm wanting anything. I think it's just a part of my spiritual journey, bro. Y'all comment below if y'all feel the same. Life is just one big journey of up and downs, round and rounds. Sometimes you're going to run right into your tail. If you're feeling lost, just know you're not alone, bro. But it's okay. It's okay to feel lost.
What if we were meant to feel lost, bro? What if we, what if we're, we just in a dream? What if this is just a big stimulation? What if none of this is real? It's just an illusion. And the thought of wanting to see what the truth is, don't even exist, bro. None of it really is this. Your thoughts about what the truth is, it's just a thought. That's all it is. That's how deep I be thinking. I love y'all, bro. Shout out to the people that really listen to all my thoughts. That really grasp what I be talking about. None of this mean nothing. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be on YouTube no more. I still be making music because I love music. I feel like I did that in my past life. I still be making music because I'm, I'm, I'm spiritually attached to it. And I'm good at it. I still be making music, but I wouldn't be making YouTube videos. Because people put me in a category with spiritual soul, freaking all these. Like, spiritual soul, the only big person I know. Like, Saguru, all these people. Like, he's a spiritual YouTuber because my name is Spiritual Tony because that's where I was at. In the beginning of my journey. That's what people know me by. That's the only reason why I haven't changed my name. But I'm not in that category no more, bro. It's gotten deep over this side. I don't care about certain things no more. It's not all about meditation. It's not all about meditation. It's not all about... Of course you want your, to raise your vibration. But it's knowing, knowing how to deal with that mind that's inside of your head. You got to be able to mix psychology with spirituality and make them be aligned with each other so you can have a smooth journey. If you're just working on your spirituality side, what about your psychology? What about your mental, your subconscious mind? That's always in the battle. That's always going to war. What about that? What about the habits? What about that? What about the way that you think, your affirmations? What about that? Meditation not going to save you from a lot of this. My last video, I spoke about the, like the positive benefits of meditation. That was just the benefits. Yeah, it could change your life. You will go through a change. But will it make your life all around change? No. You gotta work on psycho like you gotta work on the psychology and the spirituality. I understand that. That's why I'm that's why I'm working on the. Like, you know what I'm saying? My mindset, my subconscious right now, and it's a battle once you go down that road. You're going to relapse a lot. You're going to do a lot of things that you like, damn, why did I do that? I'm trying to grow from that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not perfect. We're not perfect. We're trying, though. Some of us are, some of, like, some of us are different. For real. I didn't believe it at first because people would be like, there's no such thing as a chosen one. No. Now, if you're putting yourself on a superior platform, I'm a chosen one. You're not. That's wrong. But saying that I'm on a different path than you, that's right. In a world where there's no wrong or rights, everything's just a big contradiction. But I'm on a different path than most. I can see that. Certain people want a lot of money. They want riches. Certain people want popularity. Certain people want to fix their appearance. Certain people want to please other people. Certain people want a bunch of likes and all that stuff. Certain people just want to be the manager of their job. Me? I just want to find out what the fuck we doing here. What we doing here? Not what we doing here. What I'm doing here. What's my true purpose? Is there a purpose to begin with? Or I'm just thinking there's a purpose. Deep thoughts that I'll save for another day. I'm going to continue living in the moment right now. But we're going to catch up to where I left off at. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go back to where I left off at. Comment below your deepest thoughts. Because I'm going to read them. I might not respond. Because I'm driving. But I'll read your deepest thoughts. And it's going to feel good to you to type it out. It's going to feel good to type your deepest thoughts out, man. That's why I built this community. I want I want y'all to really, you know what I'm saying? Y'all like my friends that I never met. Y'all like my friends, my family that I never met, man. When I go live with y'all, and the homeboy was like, man, I know you be treating us like fam, but 
we're like fans to you. To me, I'm like, hell no. Y'all like a family that I never met because I don't care about popularity, bro. I can live without it. That's not going to make... All the money in the world would never help me with the shit that I'm missing inside. I said that on my last song, Lose My Mind. That was my truest song thus far. On Spiritual Tony Music, go listen to it. Spiritual Tony Music on YouTube. Lose My Mind. Deepest song thus far. Sometimes I just only want to talk to nobody. I don't be wanting to give people my energy. I just ain't got a time for it. I don't got the energy for it. Not because I'm sad, depressed, or anything. I just don't want to lose my mind. I'm trying to focus on myself and focus on my purpose. And find out if it was a purpose to begin with. Or I'm just making it up. Comment below your deepest thoughts. I love you. As always, peace and love. Have a great day.